So this year I'm planning on planting a lot more chestnut trees. I've done this before in the past and I wanted to do it again. So what I did last fall is I bought some chestnuts and I bought them. I put them in the refrigerator in this in this uh, moistened peat moss and they've sat in the refrigerator all winter long and they're going through cold stratification. Uh, it's something that the nut has to do for it to be able to grow. So it's kind of simulating winter time basically. So these have sit in our refrigerator all winter long. Um, in fact, I probably should have got these out a month ago, so I'm a little behind schedule. A lot of people will get them out, they'll put them in small pots, put them under grow lights uh, inside to get them uh, started growing. But uh, it's, a, it's kind of a beautiful day outside, weather's changing into spring. I've only got two more weeks till our last frost date. So instead of even bothering with trying to grow these inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these in these bigger pots and get them started growing. I'm just going to leave them outside. I'm going to let nature do its course. So we'll go ahead. First thing we'll do is we'll open these up. We'll get out some of these chestnuts and they should have a little taproot growing from the chestnut. So they should be completely cold stratified and already starting to want to grow. And that's what we should see uh, when we open these up. Then we'll go ahead and start filling up a bunch of these pots and get all these uh, nuts planted. And uh, so we can uh, hopefully, you know, sometime this spring or maybe this fall, we'll get these trees planted all around the property. So these chestnuts have been sitting in here, staying cold. So look, look at this first one that I grabbed out. I don't know if you can see that, but that taproot is almost an inch long coming out of this nut. Yes, so this chestnut is completely ready to go and to get planted. Let's see what another one looks like. So there's the first four nuts that I've pulled out. Every one of them has a super long taproot. They're all probably at least an inch long, close to an inch long or longer. So all these nuts are ready to go. They've all gone completely through cold stratification and now they're ready for spring, ready to grow. So now I just need to go ahead and get some pots filled up with dirt so we can get these planted. So you can see these tap roots on these chestnuts. They're, I mean, these things are looking awesome. These things are ready to go. Now, this is a tap root. See, these chestnuts will send this tap root down. It will go, they will want to go deep. So you need a deep pot to put these in. You try growing these in a little container, this, this root will, will bottom out fairly quickly. Um, so what we have here is we have, uh, these are some, I think they're close to half gallon. They're about like a 0.6 or 0.66 gallons. So they're a little over a half a gallon um, for these pots. So these should be, these should be deep enough to at least get the tree started in. So these are probably at least eight inches deep. So that's going to take quite a, quite a bit of soil considering I think I've got around 83 or so of these chestnuts that I need to plant. So that's going to be a lot of pots. That's going to be a lot of soil. So what I ended up doing, I just went, um, went over to the local farm store. I bought some garden soil. So this is miracle Grow garden soil. It's not, um, it's not a potting mix. So I think this is more, uh, it's not as loose as potting mix, but, um, this is all I'm going to use today, um, to fill all these pots up. I got eight cubic feet here worth of soil. So I'm hoping that's enough to fill about 80 uh, to 83 of these pots for all these chestnuts. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fill these pots up and then I'll show you how I'm gonna plant the seed. So I've got uh, my first 22 pots filled up with soil. I do have a little bit of soil left in that bag, so I should have plenty of soil uh, to be able to plant all these chestnuts. So to plant these chestnuts here, all I need to do is a tap root that was sticking out of the nut. I just need to get that down in the soil, get soil contact so that it can grow down into the soil. The whole nut doesn't necessarily need to be buried. Um, you could bury the nut, but it's not necessary. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take a carpenter's pencil just to try to, you know, make a pilot hole. I'm just going to poke a little hole in the soil 
and that's what I'm going to use to put the tap root down into and then I'm just going to kind of press that chestnut down into the soil and that's all I'm going to do to plant it. So let me go ahead and, and uh, show you exactly what I'm doing. All right, so we just need to make a hole for that tap root to be able to fit in the soil. So I'm just going to make a little hole. I'm going to put that tap root down in there and then I'm just going to press the seed down in there. And it's going to be about flush with the surface just like that. And then I'll water this in and it should uh, start growing. So that's all you got to do is you just got to get, you just don't want to break the tap root off when you do it. That's the only reason we're making this hole is we just don't want to break that root off. And then we'll just press it down in there. And that's all there is to it. So where this tap root is growing out of this, uh, once the tap root gets down there and gets set real good, it'll actually the, the the trunk of the tree will start growing out of the same spot. So eventually, um, you'll get your stem growing up and get your leaves off of that same location. But it likes to grow that root down there pretty good, you know, before before the actual green of the tree grows. So as these chestnuts go through cold stratification, sometimes they will go bad and they will mold. So if you find any that has mold on them, we'll just, we'll just end up throwing those out. Um, but uh, hopefully all these are good. So we got that first container of chestnuts. We've got it all uh, planted into these pots. We ended up with a total of 27 chestnuts from that uh, container. And every one of them had a little taproot coming out of the nut. So they were all good, viable chestnuts. Every one of these should produce a plant. Uh, so they're all in these pots now and they're ready to grow. Uh, we did fill those pots completely up to the top with soil. We wanted as full as possible so that uh, so that taproot has you know the depth that it needs to grow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these other two containers. We'll go ahead and put those all in pots and uh, just get all these chestnuts planted. So I did end up with a total of 88 chestnut seeds. I had 30 in the next box and then 27 in the container after that. And I got these all planted yesterday in just one day. One day of sitting outside, you can see that some of these the shells on the outside are already starting to split open. And um you know, they're already starting to want to grow. I mean, uh just look at this one. It's already starting to peel back. Uh, you'll see that when they start to grow a plant. So you can see that just one day outside, the outer part of that nut's already wanting to split open, and these things are just wanting to start growing like crazy. So we'll come back here in a week, and uh, we'll basically see what one week does and see how well they're looking here in a week. It is now 50 days since I planted these chestnuts, and you can see... Oh, they, most of them are looking fantastic. They're looking really good. Um, some of them are actually a little bushier than others, so I ordered these a little different than last time. So last time when I was successful getting these, I ordered the seeds, what they call their seeds from Chestnut Ridge. And they're probably... I'm going to guess when you order the seeds, they're going to help you help maybe guarantee that they're Dunstan chestnuts. I'm not 100% sure of that, but that's what I'm going to assume. This time I actually ordered what they called their extra large chestnuts. And what I'm getting, what I'm getting actually, is I'm getting a few of these that are actually being kind of bushy. You see this? And it's coming up. This one right here probably has five separate stems to it isn't that crazy 
I have several of these that have come up with with multiple stems. So, I mean, when you look here, you'll see these really tall ones, and they look like a tree. And those are nice chestnut trees. Now, I'm going to be putting these in the tree tubes. That's what I've been planting my trees in. They'll be in these tree tubes. So I want one central tree to inside of that tree tube to grow up inside of that tube so what i'm gonna do here um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trim these trees i mean you may think that's kind of cruel they're awful young but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna pick the lesser of the branches and i'm gonna cut that off so it only has one central branch because i want this to grow like a tree not like a bush okay so as we look at this one every one of these actually has a stem it's really hard to tell like let's look over here like this little bitty chestnut right here you can see there's multiple little stems coming up but every one of these all 83 of these have some type of growth upward on them and like this one right here I'm just gonna pick the best one of these two and I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off and uh, hopefully that's that one will grow and will be good so this is definitely my best year uh, growing chestnuts from seed. Um, there's actually so many chestnuts here, 83 trees that I'm going to end up with. That's probably more than I actually need. So I'm going to plant these all on the east side of my property. I think there's more than enough to be able to do that. I'm probably actually, I haven't gone into too much detail on this, but the hay field in the back, I really do, I have my hunting blind there. And I really wanted to hunt over that field. So that field does have alfalfa in it. So hopefully that will bring in the deer, the alfalfa. But in the very center of that hay field, I'm going to break that field probably up into two sections. And in the middle of that hay field, I'm going to plant it as a food plot for deer. So that I can still use my hunting blind back there and hunt deer. So I'm probably going to take a couple of these chestnut trees and plant them in that field back there so that I can hunt over um, them in the future when they start dropping chestnuts. Um, but overall, I think 83 trees is probably more than I actually need. Um, so I probably will be selling some of these chestnut trees uh, to people I know. So if you guys, if there's anybody watching this that actually knows me personally, and you guys are interested in one of these chestnut trees, I'll probably be selling some of these this year. Um, because I don't think I'll be able to use them all. But anyway, great year with the chestnuts. Really happy with the way they've turned out. I think they're looking fantastic right now. I'm probably going to go ahead and wait a few more weeks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prune these. I ain't pruned them yet. But I'm going to go ahead and prune these down to one trunk. I'm going to wait a few more weeks so that they can grow up. And then we'll go ahead and plant all these chestnut trees. Or at least the chestnut trees, as many as I need, we'll plant them. And get them started here on the property hopefully fill out about the rest of the east side of my property with chestnut trees and i think that just opens up a whole realm of possibilities for me in the future in the future you know in the future i'll have a forest over there of chestnut trees i can hunt over that i could take the chestnut trees i could uh, gather the chestnuts maybe sell chestnuts in the future and then because uh, i mean that's a lot of chestnut trees i'll end up with a, over 100 chestnut trees maybe by the time this is done and um that's a, and then I could also run my pigs or something in that once that becomes a forest. And I think it'll just open up a bunch of possibilities in the future. It's going to take about five or more years before I finally get chestnuts. But I think that'll um, it'll open up a whole realm of possibilities in the future. So anyway, that's it, guys. Like I said, hopefully within a month or so we'll come back and we'll get these all planted in the property. So hit the subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.